clearance. Helicopter 805 Bravo Tango over at the Beta ramp. Information Quebec via fire to Plattsburgh. Roger, uh, we're ready to go now. We're going to fly over to the other hangar, which is the uh, Cross Lake Champlain over at Plattsburgh. I was working at a defense contractor and I was really ready to find something new. I had a friend who told me that there was something coming up, but he really couldn't give me any specifics. And all he could tell me was, just imagine the best job ever. And now that I'm here at Beta building electric planes, and we're going to change the way organs are moved, we're going to change the way goods are moved, and eventually we're going to change the way people are moved around the world. And he nailed it. Like, this is an engineer's paradise and a builder's paradise. It's the best job I could imagine. So you can see we have like all the fun stuff to play. We fly this all the time in the summer. It's one of our most popular airplanes. It's a 1943 Stearman. You can see we have Ava behind this little Taylor craft. Ava's what started it all. We started out with six or so people and a couple interns, and we were trying to show that we could make this work. We could make electric aviation a reality. Ava was an effort to produce the largest flying eVTOL aircraft. It was more of a proof of concept, like, yeah, we can do this, this is possible. Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are upon us, and this is what they could look like. We got about 10 knots of wind, 15 maybe. We're gonna go full left, then we're gonna come back normal, and we're gonna go full right to check yaw authority. Really energized a lot by Kyle. We took out the barriers you find in a normal company where we just didn't have anything in our way. Enabling top, enabling bottom. We welcome the people who have done interesting stuff or weird stuff, creative stuff, and, and we get Everything from the artists to the makers to the builders, and nobody's stifled. So we have a, a very large community of creative weirdos. Welcome to my tool bus. Here we have a mobile creation station and a small workstation for getting digital designs, a laser cutter, 3D printer, vinyl cutter, soon to be more, a nice combination mill, lathe, drill press, all in one. I came to Beta as a student, I'm still a student, and I've been working on a couple of holonomic mechanism drive platforms for lifting shipping containers and battery packs for Aaliyah. All sorts of stuff. Solar panels up top powering the whole thing. And looking at a lot of the technology booms, you can usually track a group of passionate sort of tinkerers that are playing around in their garages, developing some new technology. Those frequently kind of transition into smaller startups and then they tend to grow into big impactful companies. So yeah, come on in, take a look around. This is sort of my sanctuary here. I have more projects and hobbies than a guy with a day job should have. So I'm always working on something. I graduated from high school in 1979, moved to New York City thinking I would make my fortune, realized pretty quickly that that life just sucked. I was just lost in the world. Moved to Vermont in 1981, and at the same time, snowboarding started to happen. And then about nine months later, I joined Burton's. Got to become an engineer, which, you know, I'm an engineering school dropout, and managed 17 patents while I was there, which is always kind of cool to say, hey, mom, it says inventor, like, right there. I think everybody starts out messing around with Legos, but that evolved into more and more complex projects and efforts. All the way up to where I am now working on aircrafts and cars and other fun electric things. Beta's been great in the sense that they, they have opened their arms to people working on projects that aren't company related, which you know I certainly appreciate and do find that a solution will, will come to you when you least expect it. It's work hard, play hard company. This is sort of my favorite right here, the prototype of the very first 
slot wall binding at Burton. Shaped it myself, hand sanded it. This one was really cool because this changed snowboarding. Every company in the industry uh, tried to knock that off, which was really pretty crazy. Beta to me now feels like Burton and snowboarding in the early days. It's this incredible energy of people that have a shared passion for our goal, which is to change the world, but it has a bit of a punk energy to it. Flying by. <laughs> I was always enamored by vehicles that move people and things. In my early youth, swinging on a swing, the glee from that sense of of flying. Right at the end of middle school and into high school, I chose to iterate on a bunch of different electric vehicles that aided my personal commute to school. Over that process, I was able to get a good understanding and feel for the systems of electric vehicles. At the end of high school, I made the connection that maybe I could get up into the sky to enable my aerial freedom. It says a lot to an engineer if they are willing to put themselves under the knife of their engineering. <laughs> Nobody manufactures an 11 foot propeller, so we gotta go design and build our own. Kyle went down to the local lumber yard and brought back a bunch of maple planks. This is the Vermont maple cores that make up Ava's props. We got all this maple, we glued it together in Kyle's garage and took it to a furniture shop with a router, and then we coat them in carbon fiber and made our own propellers. So we had, we had a big test sequence over in Burlington, in the old Sears building. We set it up on a bench, and we put a whole bunch of C-clamps along the length of the blade, and then we went to Dick's Sporting Goods and bought every barbell plate they had in stock to see, like, was it strong enough to take the bending loads that these take when they're trying to pull the airplane up? We made a new kind of airplane, broke a record for the heaviest electric aircraft to fly, and we did all of that in 10 months. And a lot of it was because, let's make it, try it, do it, break it, and do it again. I have some great footage of Ava in the early days. It was, you know, long nights, rapid iteration, the design, build, fly, break mentality was super strong with everyone and we were all amped about it you know you go home thinking about improvements to make for the next day either design or flight test depending on the stage we were at so it was a lot of motivated individuals who just wanted to see ava fly ava was a perfect proof of concept and then Aliyah's Definitely a much more refined vehicle. We're a lot more cautious with the design it, build it, fly it, break it mentality. But I mean, we're still doing that, just a lot more focused. Making the decision to walk away from Burton, a place that I had formulated my career, it was like a pinnacle of a career for me. You know, I was somebody, people knew who I was. And I had a reputation, I had a story of success and everything. And it was one of those things where you get kind of a little bit older and everybody's like, man, hang on to that, you know, uh, don't take risks. And I realized that I was always, had more fun and was potentially more successful going with the new thing than trying to stick with the old thing forever. 
So one day I just kind of took a deep breath as Kyle and I were on the phone and I just said, hey, you know, let's talk. In my life, I can't afford to buy the thing I want or the thing I want doesn't exist. I've always tried to make it. Beta just turned that into my job, which was so amazing. Let's just figure it out. And we keep doing it to this day. We still, we all of us signed this, so that's pretty cool. I've forgotten here. And that's Kyle Clark. That's Travis Clark, his brother. We have like Riley Griffin, Cole Hansen. He's, he works on the charge pads now. Ben Colburn, David Churchill, Ken Mink. Herman, of course, Tim Richter, Riley Griffin. We got Lan Vu right there. We are beta.team. It's something that means a lot to me. It's not like beta.me or beta.com. The whole idea that we're a team and we work as a team and you trust your colleagues and you realize that anybody that came to work at Beta is an incredibly smart, driven person as well. All my life I've been like this and I've been the weirdo. And now, all of us weirdos are together.